Nearly half the population of Port-au-Prince now live in huge IDP camps, and they are becoming a haven for crime. Cabelle Dubic is one of the few doctors working in this camp of almost 50,000 people. To ensure his safety, he has to donate a percentage of his salary to gangsters who control the camp. How good is the security for this camp? Because people are very vulnerable here. The minister of UN Paul and the police national were au the camp. They didn't know what was happening in the camp. There were deaths. There were deaths that were happening here. In May, we had registered in a month more than 4 or 5 deaths here. There were deaths at the camp. They decided to put a post Stable ici, mm -hmm. là où vous voyez. Well, that's just one little unpolled police station. Is that really protecting all the people in this camp? Avant que les Nations Unies viennent ici, il y avait une fille, une fille de 10 ans qui a été violée trois fois. She was raped three times. Oui, trois fois. Ten years old. Oui, de 10 ans. Were the people Donc. responsible for being for doing the raping? Mm -hmm. Were they ever caught? Après une semaine, la personne est dans la rue comme tout le monde. Comme tout le monde. C'est comme ça. C'est comme ça. Merci. Most of the crime and violence that happens here is being blamed on the prisoners who escaped from jail during the earthquake. It's getting dark now. There is uh, one uh, unpol UN police. Uh, position, I wouldn't even call it a station, uh, which is just over there somewhere. But you know, you've got four police officers trying to protect a perimeter that has 50,000 people. The huge camp provides a labyrinth for the escapees to hide. We eventually managed to track down two of them. They are willing to talk, but nervous about revealing their identity and getting recaptured by the police. So you guys are escapees from the prison, is that So why did you go to prison? I'm in the prison, I'm in the prison. 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 I'm in the the, a lot of the kidnappings and the rapes, particularly of women, is down to the people who escaped from the prisons on the 12th of January this year. Is that true? Okay, how are you making a living if you're not gone back to crime? Um, and there are no jobs. How are you putting uh, food in your stomachs and your family's stomachs? It's a big question. In this area, we have a lot of people who have a boutique that helps us. We have a lot of people who have a lot of people. We have a lot of people who have a lot of people who have a lot of people. We have a lot of people who 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 have a lot of people. So aren't you effectively now a gang, back being a gang member? No, I'm back. OK. How dangerous is it living here? No. Un pile. Un pile, un pile. Un pile, un pile, un pile. Because we're in prison. We live in a bouy. We have a lot of people. We have a lot of people. So you're saying that if you were caught by the police, they wouldn't actually put you to trial. They'd just kill you? Yes. Yes. The sad fact is that the poverty and crime that imprison people here are interlinked. And without help from the outside world, most people here have little chance of escape. What made you dig your own grave? Yes. I got to lay down in it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't feed me for 10 days. No food. Yeah. Do you know where the pirates uh, were from the ones that took you. Oh yeah, I knew every one of them. <laughs>